Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, the number one place for people who love design, art and all things creative. I'm Jacqueline and I'm an interior architect and designer here at DNB. and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my essential design book collection. I found that books have been huge in giving me a helping hand and to this day I still use them for reference both for inspiration and for business. Whether you're an architect, designer or student, I formatted the video into different categories so that there are books for all of you. One of our creative crew actually asked for this video so I hope to help you guys out and recommend my favourite architecture and interior design books. So if you're interested, let's jump in. Okay, I guess let's start on the other side of the career ladder when you're still a student at high school. If I look back at when I was at high school, around sixth form, so right at the end of school when you're going into university, that was really the time where I started to read into architecture and interior design. Mainly because I was about to start uni and I didn't know too much about the history of architecture or much to do with interior design, so I wanted to be well read and prepared, right? Because of course when you're at high school you don't get lessons on any of these kind of things so I wanted to at least give myself some background into the area that I was going into as a career. And the first book I remember that actually taught me quite a lot about design was Architecture for Dummies. I feel a bit ashamed to admit that that was the first book I bought about architecture but it actually was really great in giving the basic foundations and also everything was laid out in a really easy to read way. And side note, I don't actually have all of the books I'm going to be talking about today because after uni I really needed money and I sold some of them which obviously I regret now but hey, what can you do? Anyway, the book was quite extensive actually and it wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be to read but there's lots of diagrams for reference and like I said it's laid out in lots of different sections to make it easy to follow. Although it's pretty embarrassing to buy one of those dummy books, it actually proved really useful for me during my infancy as a student. So if you're in high school, I think that this book is a great starting point. Another big part of being a designer or architect is being creative. And of course, one way we translate our creativity is through drawing. One book that gave me some inspiration was Sketching and Rendering Interior Spaces by Ivo Dripik. Now, when I began to draw as a student, I realised that my preferred medium was using marker pens and fine liners and definitely not pencil. And the author really reflected, I felt, a drawing style that I was trying to emulate. He really goes into a lot of depth about how to paint professionally, what kind of techniques to use, and what I particularly appreciate is the drawing process he shows from page to page. Something else to think about when drawing architecture or interiors is of course perspective. Over the years I've developed my own drawing style and I have to admit I don't draw them like this anymore. I kind of like my drawings to have an organic element to them so I just do them freehand now. But this book, Perspective for Interior Design by John Pyle was monumental in allowing me to draw perspectively without any rulers. He covers plans, sections, elevations, two-point perspective, circular forms, light effects, reflective elements and so much more. Figuring out the perspective and angles are the hardest part and I hope I'm not the only one that thinks that. So I really recommend this one for you guys who find it tricky to nail that vantage point within your drawings. Okay, you finished high school and now you're on your way to start university. If I were to recommend any book to you guys, it's hands down Form, Space and Order by Francis D.K. Ching. This man is basically the godfather of architectural books. The book has been a staple for any architecture and interior design student for that matter and has been for over 40 years. And really it covers basic vocab you should know, form and space in relation to light, view and openings, as well as spatial organisation, ordering principles, circulation, proportion and scale. To this day, this is a book I refer back to for inspiration for spatial planning and working out where things should go. Ching is also renowned for his drawings that clearly illustrate his points, which in turn makes the book really understandable and helps you to retain the information even more. Another book of his that I think is great is A Global History of Architecture. That one's more of a read for leisure as opposed to reading it for reference, but it's a perfect one if you're interested in different cultures and historical architecture as he dives deep into different civilizations over a timeline and how we have evolved over time. All of his books are quite hefty reading material, just to warn you, but personally I just find 
them so interesting and his detailed sketches are really captivating. When you're at university, you're going to find so many cool architects and interior designers that you'll look up to. And I think it's important to kind of find that person and follow their work for inspiration. And a book I found to be inspiring was by one of my favourite architects, Bjark Engels. I actually have a whole video about him and the Bjark Engels Group newest book, but the book I'm going to recommend to you is Hot to Cold, An Odyssey of Architectural Adaptation. It's essentially a book that centres around the projects that they've completed or imagined all over the world. And it presents 60 case studies in harsh climate conditions in order to examine where and how we live on our planet. And I find with all of their books, they just really make you question and analyse things within design, which I think we all kind of need to do in order to grow. Also, all of the Big Practices books are done in a fun and almost interactive way, and there's not too much reading, they're more on the visual side, which is a relief from the Francis Ching books for sure. They use very vivid colours and high quality renders, detailed drawings and also really cool conceptual diagrams that I find as a source of inspiration for my own projects. And my final book recommendation for this category is The Fundamentals of Interior Design by Simon Dodsworth. This is Interior Design 101, it really does say what it is on the tin. He goes through the design process, understanding the brief, understanding the space, building structures, spatial organisation, finishes, sustainability and also presenting to the client. So he really covers all of the aspects to interiors. This is kind of a bible for interior designers and as a student and it will give you a clear look at what to expect during your time at university as well as during your career. I also wanted to mention two books for people who want to start their own studio, so books for the entrepreneur. Some of the first ones I bought when we were starting our business were by fellow YouTuber Eric Reinhold and they are the Architect and Entrepreneur series. I'll link his channel down below because he's really amazing at giving you insights into studio life and he's also got some tutorials as well. The first volume is called A Field Guide, Building, Branding and Marketing Your Startup Business. This one is all about the beginning and really for you guys who haven't even begun setting up your business. And this book really propelled me to want to start a YouTube channel, so thanks mate for that one. And the second one is a how-to guide, Innovating Practice Tactics, Models and Case Studies in Passive Income. This one is for when your business is off the ground but you want to make it long lasting. The reason why I love these books is because it's so hard to find ones that combine starting a business with starting a design studio, so I found them super constructive for my own business journey. And one day I'd also love to write a book tailored to helping creative entrepreneurs expand their businesses and also just ramble on about things that I've learned when creating a design business. The second entrepreneurial design book is The Interior Design Job Book by Diana Yakeley. Essentially, this is a really detailed book on how to run a project from start to finish, and as an interior architect who runs a design studio, I always refer to this, and it's definitely an essential interior design book to read for budding business owners. Some other useful resources I wanted to mention were Detail Magazine, which gives you new projects and their detailed drawings. A lot of inspiration can be found in there just by looking at the plans, elevations and sections. I always found detailed drawings to be the most boring part of a project, but just looking at some of the work in this magazine makes them really cool and interesting and actually makes you want to create detailed drawings. Also, some kind of lighting book. Lighting can be quite complicated, so just having a specification book really helps to jog the memory and remember all the scientific side of lighting. The third one is the Architect's Pocket Book, and I've talked about this before, but it's an essential for any designer as it gives you the standard measurements, structural and service information, and so much more that we all need to know. Also think about design style books, so ones on art deco or mid-century furniture for example. I don't actually have many of these because one, they're mainly just picture books and two, they're actually usually pretty expensive. But I absolutely love them because they're the perfect books for reference if you're on a project that requires certain design elements. But also they're the best for inspiration, especially if you can't find something on Pinterest or Instagram. Not everything can be found online and sometimes large picture books are the best. And if you need more advice, I have a whole playlist of architecture and interior design tips, so I'll link that down in the description for you guys. If you're new to our channel, then I just want to say welcome. On the channel, we talk about architecture, interior design, and so much more cool creative stuff. So if any of that interests you, make sure to subscribe to see videos just like this one. 
Leave me a book emoji down below to let me know that you guys enjoyed this video or learned something new. And if you liked it, then please give it a big thumbs up because by doing that, you actually really help our channel to reach even more people. Okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed my design book collection. Some of them are really good. So I hope that you check them out. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh,